Listen, shout out to Clean Technica for dropping this story. Can you believe it's only been 12 months since the Inflation Reduction Act shit things up? The solar storage industry is turning heads, becoming the hottest in America's energy scene. With those historic energy incentives lighting the way, solar and storage companies are flaunting over a hundred billion. Monica, a hundred billion in private sector investments. And that's just the appetizer. You wanna talk about it? Let's get cryptic. Okay, Monica, so here we go. These companies are sprucing up their operations, gearing up to meet the sky high demand for clean energy that's made up in the good old US of A. Cha ching! This wave of investment is making communities richer than a Kardashian's wedding. I'm just saying. Now, Monica, from those sale manufacturers up in Minnesota to those solar lovers in California, dollars are pouring in faster than I could deliver these environmental hot topics. All right, Monica, now calm down because there's more to the story. These investments are doing more than just giving us dollars to count. They're making towns shine brighter than a diamond. Like places like Warsaw, Indiana, and Buckeye, Arizona. They're just not getting the facelift. They're becoming clean energy powerhouses. Jobs are blooming. Supply chains are buzzing. And tax bases are singing hallelujah. Did you know that for every dollar spent on manufacturing, we're adding $2.60 to the economy? It's like magic, but better. Now catch this, because it's not all just about jobs. It's about the future. Dalton, Georgia, those manufacturing meccas, are causing ripples that even I can't ignore. They're building ecosystems, hubs of energy that are breathing life back into communities that have been waiting for a long time to shine. And guess what? By the end of the decade, we're talking over 100,000 jobs just in solar manufacturing. Those are some strong paycheck providing jobs and they're giving a much needed boost to our middle class. Monica is so juicy. Can you stand it? Because I got more. <laughs> Listen, our solar supply chain is putting on its stilettos and strutting back to the US. For the first time in ages, we're leading the charge in clean energy. And let me tell you, there's a full lineup of solar manufacturing facilities coming to town. Can you believe it? 155 gigawatts of new production capacity and nearly $20 billion in private investments. It's like a clean energy gold rush. By 2026, we're going to be flexing our solar muscles like never before. The capacity is going to be 17 times larger than what we have now. We're talking about controlling our energy, saying goodbye to those imports, and giving the world a run for its money. Talk about a power move. Now let's get into carbon emissions. These solar and storage investments aren't just vanity projects. They're the real deal when it comes to fighting climate change. We're talking about slashing those carbon emissions like there's yesterday's fashion trends. By 2033, we'll have enough solar juice to power homes from coast to coast. And guess what? We're offsetting a whopping 459 million metrics of CO2 every single year. That's like taking a whole lot of gas guzzling cars off the road. I'm just saying. So, Monica, there you have it. Let's toast to the last 12 months. They've been nothing short of a transformation. And guess what? We're just getting started. The next 10 years are going to be a roller coaster of solar power success. We're talking $565 billion in private sector investments and nearly half a million jobs. The solar industry is our shining star, bringing that good energy boom and making sure we're always in the spotlight. Now I gotta go, so be sure to follow Cryptics Media, like this video, share if you care, and let's continue to have these conversations. Until then, stay awesome, stay cool, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh! And cheers to a greater and greener future.